Hi and welcome back to a new video. Because Sheik participated and contributed so well over the past four years to this channel, I decided it's time to build the Sheik Tribute Gaming PC, which is going to be an all cat themed PC. For this I ordered some very special components that are not even available for sale in Europe and also not in the US, as the, at least as far as I know. So this is going to be really nice. And here we see how hyped Sheik is already for her new PC. Guess my intro was boring once again. As a base, I decided to go with the APNX C1, which has been out for a few days. It's available for about 145 euros, which I think is a very interesting price point. And also it's a case I never used personally so far. So I get to do two interesting things, build a CAD PC and also try out a new case. With this case, side panel, top cover and everything can be removed with those like quick release things. But we will also mainly leave out the like glass panel for now. The case is available in different colors. I picked white simply to match the build and as you might already have noticed, one part in the back of my case is orange and that's not stock, that's something I had painted myself. In the front you can find three 140 fans also by APNX, I think called FP1. However, we're not going to use them in today's video because I want to use something else. In the back side of the case with the exhaust we have a 120 millimeter fan, also an APNX fan that's included in the delivery. However, we're also going to remove this one because I want to switch to Corsair environment. This would be the back side of the case, everything mesh, looks quite nice. I also want to point out again, the orange part right here, this is what I had painted myself, simply to match the color scheme of the PC. I have one more part that's also painted orange to match all the other components. But apart from that, we have this massive thing right here, which is just a huge banded piece of mesh. Should be very good for airflow. And I think also design-wise, that's just something different and at the same time looks quite elegant. The top part is also fully covered by mesh, again good for airflow. We have dual USB type A, one time USB type C, audio jack and also start and reset buttons in the front. So what I also personally pay attention to is how does it feel like pressing those buttons and at least those have a quite good quality feel. One thing I have to complain about though and that's this edge in the back. I already straight noticed this when I was unpacking the case because this is an extremely sharp edge. Like on this side and on this side, if you touch this, I mean, if you have this sitting on your floor or even at the desk and you like walk around this, then that's definitely a dangerous edge. Should be adjusted, maybe rounded a little bit, a little bit of chamfer here and there, then this should be fine. But yeah, that's just too sharp. Here again, same thing though as with the side panel, just simply push it up and it's like a quick release. If you pay closer attention to the paint of the entire case, may it be the front side that you can see, the visual side, or even like the back side, everything from my experience or from what I could see so far is done like top level quality. Not only top part, but also everything from the main body and also like radiator shroud and everything. Really nice paint job, quality is on point. I just spotted a quite interesting detail. If you pay attention to those three holes up here, the left one is marked with HDD and it has like a cutout to the left. SSD has a cutout to the bottom and then there's this fan with a different shape. And then those kind of holes you can find down here. For example, four of those holes with the cutout to the bottom, which would be for an SSD mounting, 2.5 inch. And then six holes right here for 3.5 inch HDD. In theory, you could also mount a fan here which I'm not sure why you would do that, but that's a quite nice gimmick. On top we have an LED and also fan adapter and control hub, which I'm going to remove because I'm not going to use the original fans as I already said. And yeah, I want to avoid any kind of additional cable management or anything like that. Enough talking about the case, we will go over to the main components. And as promised, those are quite special because it was also quite a bit of work to get this motherboard and also the GPU because they're only available for sale in China and you cannot even buy it through like AliExpress or like Timu or anything. It was quite a bit of work, but here we have it. It's a colorful cat branded motherboard. So there it is, the B760M Miao Wi-Fi D5. It's a full out cat branded motherboard. It's just completely amazing. It's socket 1700. We will put a 14600K on it. And like, just look at those details. We have like this cat right here, a huge paw in the background, but we have to look at the motherboard itself. And even if we flip it to the side, there's like a cat paw and it's also called the color fire uh, like series. And <laughs> just, just, I mean, look at those details to edit everything. <laughs> what is even this? <laughs> Meow motherboard operation guide, yep, that's just something else. And here we have Sheik's motherboard. Maybe let's start with the I.O. cooler. 
we have Meow on here and we have like a cat on here and also says Game Boy Color Fire Series again. Then on here on this cooling block it says 99 out of a thousand. For a second I thought this might be something like a limited edition but I ordered two of those motherboards in case something goes wrong and the second one also has 99 out of 1000 on it, same as all the pictures online, so might just be part of the decoration and the theme itself. Talking about the theme itself, I think it's quite cool to have like a fully white board, like the PCB is actually white with some orange printing on it. That's something extremely unique, like those tiny cat paws you have next to the dim slots. Or the chipset heatsink that says Cats Rule the World by CatWords. Unfortunately, we were not able to keep the original battery because the original battery has also cat paws printed on it, but I had to have it removed for the shipping over air freight. But also on here, on the audio solution, you also have a tiny cat on there. For the battery, maybe those stickers that are included also come in handy. There is a paw. I will try to fit it on there, All right? Battery fixed. This is actually hilarious. That's the socket protection cap, which I was about to remove to place my 14600K in there. Now pay attention to this tiny detail. Because typically there is like a warning sign not to touch the socket. And instead of a finger, they put a cat paw on there. So whoever made this board definitely had a sense of humor. Okay, let's proceed. Put the 14600K in the socket, because it's also going to be like a mid-range uh, gaming system. We're going to use this MP600 Pro NH for no heatsink because we're going to place it underneath here and then put back the yeah, mainboard cover. And even the back side of this board looks brilliant. We have like this Game Boy with a cat in here and meow and yeah, I think whoever made this really was like paying attention to detail and loved what he was doing. And also to fit the color scheme, I have the new Corsair Titanium Sticks 6000 C30. Hopefully they can also shine nicely in orange. In theory, I also have four sticks to populate all of the dim slots, but I'm not quite sure if the board can handle like 6000 with all the dims populated. And I also want to first do a BIOS update before I populate all the slots. Okay, we are continuing to assemble with the PSU. Even though they're still very expensive, I just like how convenient it is to use them and to build with them. That's why I'm using those IQ Link fans for the front. One note on the side, the original APNX fans I think have a 30 millimeter height and those are 25 millimeter fans. And that's why the screws will be too long and just don't really fit. That's why if you want to replace the fans in this case, you probably have to get different screws. Before we start uh, putting the board into the system, I will also put on a 13th and 14th gen compatible contact frame. As you can see, I made progress and the bundle is now sitting inside the case. You might now think like, why did I choose a micro ATX board? Well, first of all, there is only this one Meow board available. And then also we're going to have the card vertically inside the case. This is also available for the APNX case. They sent a black one to me, so I painted it white to just match the rest of the system, but from what I saw online they will also have black and white available later on. One thing I have to point out though is that cable management wise this case is not offering too much. Actually apart from a few of those notches there is like no dedicated cable management feature at all. Which is actually okay but I would just like to see more of these then because like on the right side there is nothing where I could for example attach those cables to to make it a little bit more tidy. I was just thinking that having a wide riser cable would have been so much nicer, but yeah, I guess the graphics card will sit in front, so that should be okay. And on the right side, you could also mount additional fans, or instead you could have like a cable cover in front, which is usually white. But I also got it painted orange, which I think will fit the color scheme just perfectly. I was thinking of painting even more than this piece in orange, but I think that just fits perfectly and it's not too much because we will also have the fans and like the memory and everything glowing in orange, hopefully. So I think that would just be perfect. Now the cool thing is that Colorful not only has the Meow series for the B760 motherboard, but also for a graphics card. In this case, it's an RTX 4060 Meow Edition. It kind of would have been cool to also have like a 4080 or 4090, but I guess it kind of makes sense like, price-wise to fit into the B760 range 
with the components you would assume you would use it with. And I think with a 4060, you can definitely run higher volumes than with a 4090, especially now that 4090 sales are banned in China, I guess kind of makes sense. And here we have it, the RTX 4060 Meow Edition. It's unfortunately a little bit less spectacular than the motherboard. We only have like the cat on here on the fence. We have a little Meow on here, but like if we turn it around, oh, there's a cat paw on here. But apart from that, there's like nothing on the backside, which I think is fine because we will have it vertical, vertically mounted in here. So I guess that's okay. I also added this eight pin wire view on the backside for better cable management. Unfortunately missed the opportunity to also paint this in white, but I guess should be fine. I honestly already like the look of this build. It's something completely unique and different. And even, I mean, this card is quite short. So this room is kind of lost a little bit, but with having this painted orange, I think it still looks all right. By the way, if you ever want to use this case with a horizontally mounted card and a heavy one, then there is already this GPU holder included that you basically attach to those holes down there. And then this way you can support your graphics card even if it's a really heavy one. You might already have noticed during those shots that I managed to also get four sticks to run, which was pretty easy. Just plucked and everything went smooth. 6000 C30 on a memory stick, even with four dims, no problem at all. And everything else also went totally smooth. So the 14600K was correctly detected, everything went well. And as you can see, I also was already able to run a 3D mic times by Extreme, which achieved about 5,200 points, which is pretty much expected with an RTX 4060 and a 14600K. Now quick look at the temperatures of the system with max load in Cinebench R23 Multi. CPU consumes about 230 watt, sometimes 250 watt, but with a result of 23,136 points, that's pretty much in line because hardware info will steal about two or 3% with the background load and about 24,000 points would be expected. So that's pretty much in line. I was also surprised how well the colorful software worked. There are also two installations. There's like a light version, which is this one and the full installation. I didn't even bother to go with the full one because I always think like a light one that's maybe just purely function oriented and without a huge background load is typically better. So there's an overview of your hardware, which is correct. Apart from that I spotted with memory, it says brand Corsair frequency 60,000 megahertz. I'm not quite sure about that maybe missing a comma or something. Apart from that, you have some monitoring data on the right. If you go to hardware, you can even overclock the GPU if you want to. I didn't even try this so far on this GPU. I was thinking maybe to have a follow-up video about the 4060 and maybe take it apart, look at the cooler, maybe also try to overclock it and also look closer at the motherboard. So that's something we could do, maybe let me know. If we go to LED, it was also smooth to set the RGB of the board and it didn't even conflict in any way with IQ, which was surprising and pretty nice. In monitoring, we should be able to run some on-screen display, which I want to try out now. Well, the OSD did not work, at least with a CS2. It works as long as you run the windowed mode, but if you switch to full screen, it doesn't work anymore. So I have to switch to FPS Mon. And you can see my frames are somewhere between like 200 and 350, currently about 300 on average, which I think is a good result and is pretty much as expected with an RTX 4060. So that's it, the CAT PC. I hope you enjoyed this build, it was something else. If you want to see, as I said, a follow-up video regarding GPU or mainboard or both in one video, just let me know and we can take a closer look at both. Originally, I wanted to have Sheik next to me in this outro, but she said, you can do it all by yourself. So here we are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. See you soon, bye-bye.